Uh, okay, we have uh, this two-year-old uh, male capuchin monkey uh, that, um, you know, the owners moved from um, one location to another one. This time, um, two-story house, and, um, you know, the monkey was really uncomfortable in, in the new environment, and jumped out the window from the second floor, and unfortunately landed on concrete and broke his uh, leg. Um, there are detailed pictures of, of the fracture in the video also, but you can see the tibia completely shattered here. You know, there are several views of, you know, the problem. The only way to fix this in this particular case, you know, in, um, in uh, non-human primates is um, internal fixation. So I want to place a plate now. Um, we're ready for uh, to incise the skin. Um, I've chosen a cranio-lateral approach. Um, in that way we have a good muscle mass covering the plate. Uh, the only concern is for the patient to try to actually remove it. You know, it's, 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 they're very agile with their uh, hands. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, incise the skin. It's really, really inflamed. Um, this fracture has been happened, let me see how many days ago, I believe like three, four days ago. So you can see the degree of inflammation in this area on hemorrhage. So I'm likely wanna see a lot of blood, unfortunately. We have uh, already exposed the fracture. Um, there is some displacement of the part that, you know, it's not really visible in the, in the radiograph, but you can see that then we have to, there is some contraction now. So now we'll have to choose the, the size plate and keep going. We're using um, a cuttable plate. So, um, you know, I measure the amount of holes that, that, and the minimum amount that we need to, um, you know, get in the distal portion. So I'm cutting right here when I use it, 11 holes, okay? Okay, we measure the plate and um, we're gonna cut it, so it's gonna be nine holes now. Done. This is gonna be the plate. Now we need to bend it um, according to the shape of this particular um, tibia. Now we're, we're presenting the plate and you can see that, you know, we're having a good bite there. Um, okay, we're preparing now to drill the first hole. This is, this is the most important hole because this is the one that's gonna uh, anchor the plate. And then, when this one is established, we can proceed to the rest of the holes and make, make it really easy. You know, once the first hole is done, we're pretty much done. I want to proceed with the first hole now. And it's done. Now, Okay, the first screw is already in position. So now we just need to keep going, drilling holes and placing more screws. We finished the plate. The, the fracture has completely reduced. This is, how, this, is the, this is how it looks. 
We're waiting for um, him to wake up. Um, the incision is, um, you know, there is some bruising, of course, from uh, before, but this is how this is how the end. You know, it's, it's recovering, and eventually. In, in six weeks, it's going to be like back to normal. We'll, we'll see. Him.